let's take a look at how to simplify expressions. We have four plus two times two minus two. Okay, well the first thing I want you to keep in mind is that when you have more than one operation, right? We have multiple steps to do here. You always have to keep in mind your order of operations because order matters. So remember when we think about our order of operations, our acronym is GEMDAS. And that word acronym just means each letter stands for something. So G stands for the grouping symbols, right? Those are things like parentheses. E would stand for exponents. M and D stand for multiplication or division, and they're actually the same level. So if you have both, you go left to right. A stands for addition and S stands for subtraction. And those two are both the same at the last level. If you have both, you go left to right. So in this problem, notice I have addition, multiplication, and subtraction. So the multiplication would have to happen first. So I'm gonna leave this four plus out front for a minute and the first thing I'm gonna think about is what is two times two? Well, two times two gives me four, and then I'm just gonna recopy the problem, right? I had a minus two at the end. And now I'm down to addition and subtraction. They happen last, so now I can just go from left to right. Well, four plus four, that gives me eight, and then I would still have to subtract two, and eight minus two gives me six. So all together, our answer simplifies down to just six. Three plus two times four minus three. Well, again, remember your order of operations. You have to multiply before you can add or subtract. So I'm gonna say three, I'm just gonna leave that alone for a minute because the first thing I wanna do is two times four which gives me eight. And then I'm gonna recopy my problem. I still have minus three at the end. Now I'm down to just addition and subtraction, which are on the same level, so I can simply go from left to right. Well, three plus eight gives me 11, and then I still have to subtract three. Well, 11 minus three gives me eight. So this whole thing is equal to eight. Four minus three plus five times three. Okay, well again, I'm always paying attention to the order and making sure I'm doing my operations in the correct order. So in this problem, right, if I'm thinking GEMDAS, well, there's no grouping, there's no exponents, but I do need to make sure to multiply before I add or subtract. So this four minus three, I'm gonna leave that alone for a second, four minus three plus. The first thing I'm gonna do is five times three. Five times three gives me 15. And now I just have addition and subtraction. Since they're the same level, I can just go from left to right. Well, four minus three is one, and then I still have to say plus 15. And one plus 15 is 16. One plus eight divided by four times one. Okay, well I have addition, division, and multiplication. So I have to make sure I do the division and the multiplication before I add. And since division and multiplication are the same level, this part, I'm gonna go left to right. So I'm gonna leave that one plus alone. I'm gonna wait to do that part. And first, I'm gonna say eight divided by four. Well, that gives me two and then I still have to multiply that by one. So now I have one plus two times one. And multiplication has to happen before addition. So I'm gonna leave that one plus and just wait on that for a second. I'm gonna start by saying two times one is two. And now I just have addition left, so now I can add one plus two, that gives me three. So notice the order is really important in these problems. You wanna take your time and first say, what do I have to do first before you just jump in and start adding? Because a lot of times people will look at this and say, okay, one plus eight is nine, 
and then they'll wind up getting the wrong answer. So really take your time and think, what do I need to do first? Five times three divided by three times three. Notice in this problem, everything is multiplication and division. So since they're on the same level, I can go left to right. Okay, so first, five times three gives me 15, and then I'm still gonna divide that by three, and then multiply it by three. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep going left to right. So next, 15 divided by three gives me five, and then I still have to say times three, and then finally, five times three is 15. Five times two divided by two times one. Okay, well just like the last problem, notice all of my operations are multiplication and division. Since they're the same level, I'm gonna go from left to right. So first, five times two, that gives me 10. And then I still have to say divided by two times one. All right, well next I'm gonna do this division. 10 divided by two, that gives me five and then I still have to say times one. And then finally, in my last step, five times one gives me five. 